Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is another uh, FL12 workflow tip brought to you by ADSR. So this one today, we're going to be talking about the PPQ, which is known as the time base and stands for points per quarter. And what this affects, among other things, is essentially how far you can zoom into stuff inside FL. By default, it starts at 96 PPQ. It can go all the way up to 960 PPQ, which would be 10 times the sort of the distance that we have. And it can also go lower than that at 24 PPQ. So you might be thinking, why, why ever would you ever have anything less than the highest, essentially, zoom amount? And the reason for that is because while it does affect zoom, like right now, this is the 960 PPQ, as you can see, we can get pretty far in there to the point where waveform editing in the playlist is actually kind of viable, which is pretty great. Back in the record 96, this is the maximum amount we can zoom into it, and that's about it. Now, it, like I said, it affects more things than just the zoom, and the things that it affects are things like timing. So you see that, like, when these two things are right next to each other, if I were to if I were to have like have it be like just slightly up over here, it's slightly a bit a bit off, and like this amount of it being off mattered a lot, which for certain kinds of sampling and layering, it absolutely would. This distance wouldn't be possible with the 96 PPQ setting. As you can see, we can't even tell if it is set up or not. And I don't think it is. Nope, it, we got to move back to being together. So like that kind of time resolution is what's changed also when we, when we zoom into things. And this also matters for automation. Plenty of things about how automation works and smoothing and timing and all that stuff is determined by the time base resolution. And so it could be better or worse depending on you know how much we're using it. And that, that the last time I might be thinking is like, why again would we not have ever have it at the maximum amount? And all of that stuff that I just said requires quite a bit more CPU to operate. Even if you're doing pretty basic stuff, uh, having a really high time base will increase the amount of CPU you use. And if you are using doing a pretty complicated project, it will be a problem. Um, I run a pretty ridiculous computer, and there are definitely projects that I couldn't even think to run at this high of a PPQ. And in fact, some projects I even turned down because I can't run it at regular ppq settings and that is a decision you're gonna to have to make you know based on the project and also certain things that like you know you you, you you want to mess around with like for example if i were to change the start time of the sample but like do so at a really like incremental micro amount that's an amount that they're determined by the, the amount of ppq i have this will more or less remain the same if i were to go to a lower ppq setting and that's because that's just the sample start time. That 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 resolution is being determined by the sample and the sample rate of the, of the sample itself. Um, so you can zoom in really far, make the changes you need to make, and then zoom back out. And those changes for that kind of alteration will still be there. So you're you're able to kind of do it uh, on a point by point basis for particular things that you need to get done. And that's really pretty much all there is to it. For the most part, I keep it at the default amount. That's just that's kind of just a all right kind of deal and every so often i'll have something that requires incredible pbq usage like if i'm doing if i'm recording a drum kit for example uh there's there's a lot of, you gotta you gotta keep track of a lot of phase relationships when you're when you're doing dealing with multiple microphones that kind of thing and so i'll come in here and i can see you know a, like a, a waveform kind of line, lining up like this and if it isn't lined up i can come in here and line it up manually to make sure that the phase relationship is still pretty good instead of having to like because the alternative to that is to measure microphone distances in in the real world which you know you could do but if you don't feel like it you can kind of come in here and fix it like this and then go back to regular pbq mo modes and not have to worry about it so yeah i hope that uh allowed you to have a, a better understanding of how zoom works and what time resolution and that kind of thing is inside fl yeah if you have any questions about this please let me know don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to ADSR and subscribe to me, Seamless R. And as usual, have a nice day.